Oh, great. Okay. So this is my plan. First, I will describe Chacha algorithm. Then I will discuss differential attack on Chacha and our idea on that. After that, I will discuss what is probabilistic neutral bit, in short, PNBs. And I will discuss that uh, our approach to find PNBs. Then using this uh, differential attack and probabilistic neutral bit, this both will merge both ideas and will uh, try to find key better than exhaustive key search. So that is third part, key recovery attack. Then after that, our results in this direction and finally I will conclude my talk. Yeah. So first is Chacha cipher. So Chacha cipher is like this. We have one matrix X of 4 cross 4. Uh, this is 4 cross 4 matrix and each entries are 32 bit and we call each and each entry uh, each cell one word so we have total 16 words and 32 bits so total we have 16 times 32 512 bits in this matrix first row is constant row so this c0 to c0 c1 c2 c3 this this is fixed constant second two rows are key rows and last row is public variable a t0 counter and vi's are nonsense and uh, for cha cha 256 that means 256 bit key this first row these constants are something like this c0 to c3 are like this and for cha cha 128 so 128 bit key these constants are almost same only very slight difference so here you can see c1 is 33 here 31 something like that and for cha cha 128 this uh, second and third row should be identical so k4 should be k0 k5 should be k1 k6 k2 like that so so we have for chacha 128 we have 4 times 32 128 bit key yeah so that's chacha matrix and we have to so this is our chacha matrix this this matrix and we have to apply this function quarter round function on this chacha columns so first this first column second column third column and fourth column after that we have to apply on diagonals like x0 x5 x10 x15 x1 x6 x11 x12 like that so alternatively we have to apply column rounds and diagonal rounds this uh, this uh, we have to apply quarter round function and what is quarter round function it has uh, its input is 128 bit so a b c d all are 32 bit and output is also 128 bit a double prime b double prime c double prime d double prime and operation is like this a first we have to calculate a box plus b this means a plus b modulo 2 to the 32 then that you call that is a dash and then uh, calculate this jaw operation and make cyclic rotate so we are using addition mod 2 to the 32 and zor operation and cyclic rotation and we have to uh, use this this operation so this is quarter round function as and i already told you we have to use this function over columns and diagonals alternatively so say after r rounds we will have say new matrix xr so initially we have some x0 and after r rounds we are xr and then output z should be x0 box plus xr box plus means you have to make uh, addi addition mod 2 to the 32 so corresponding cells first cell of x0 and first cell of xr you have to add mod 2 to the 32 so output is 512 bit yeah so this this is something like this a b c d quarter round function and we have to apply this arx operation and we after one round we will have again another 128 bit and it is not difficult to prove that this is this fun operation is actually invertible so if you know output you, you will get corresponding input since this is invertible so chacha fun round function is also invertible so if you know xr just uh, making inverts and you will get 
your uh, original starting matrix x0. Yeah. Now come to differential attack and our idea in this direction, in this differential attack idea. So in differential attack, we have to start with two cha-cha states and all bits are same except few positions. And in actually we will, in our case, we uh, only one bit is different and all other bits are same. So we have cha-cha matrix is 512 bit, all 512 bits are same except one bit. And that bit should be from public variable. And we have to apply uh, few rounds such a rounds over, over this uh, original matrix and uh, that differential matrix and and we have to check say after R rounds whether there is any correlation among these two matrices. So here P should be same but IV should be different. So we have to start with some X0 and X dash 0. So uh, and say after R rounds we are getting XR and X dash R then we calculate this differential state matrix delta r like this where delta r i is x i r and zor x dash i r. So uh, initially this since we are giving only one difference only one one uh, delta i r should be only uh, one should be non-zero and all other are zero. So delta zero i all are zero except only one uh, one i. So we have x zero and x dash zero, and we are giving input difference. Say at j bit of i th word. So delta i j zero. It is one. Then we apply r rounds and we calculate this probability. So after r rounds, we calculate uh, delta r p q one q th bit of p th word it is one given this is input difference is uh, one here at j bit i th word. Suppose this probability is half into one plus epsilon d. Then this epsilon d we call forward bias. And for attack we, we need to uh, increase this epsilon d as much as possible. So, uh, so again recall so this is our chacha matrix and we are giving difference only on the last row because last row is public variable row and it is not difficult to prove that if you give one bit difference and apply uh, uh, x, one round on x and x dash so after one round you will have 10 difference. So if you calculate x1 and x dash 1, so you have total 512 bit and if you check only uh, it can be uh, minimum 10 difference, it can be more than 10 difference. Now if you have 10 difference, you will have better epsilon d, you will have better forward bias. Now last year, uh, not last year, two years back, so crypto 2020. Uh, Bearly, Leander and Todo, they showed that for 10 difference, you can get max around 70% keys. For 30% key, you don't have any IV which can give you 10 difference. For now, instead of, and for that, to get 10 difference, on average, you have to try 32 IVs, and among the 32, one will give you 10 difference. Now, instead of 10 difference, if we go slightly more, so 12 difference, then one advantage is now not only 70% keys, for 100% key, you will have 12 difference after one round. And also, you don't need to try for 32 IVs, you need, on average, you need only 9 IVs. So, of course, in this situation, epsilon d is now less. Initially, it was like this. Now you have like this. But advantage here is this probability is now getting better. And overall, you you can see that we can get slightly better. 
probability of so all together so instead of 10 difference we can try 12 difference now using memory we can improve further so again recall so our matrix is this and suppose we are giving difference at here uh, this on b0 so one bit difference now k1 is 32 bit k5 is also 32 bit so instead of trying to find iv online phase you can make a table in offline phase so you have total 64 bit and you uh, find corresponding iv this v0 so that after one round after one column round this column this this difference is 10 so so we can avoid uh, this probability inverse uh, random ip choice in in the online phase and of course then you need table since on app, uh, you uh, you have 70 percent keys so table size will be like this now we can reduce further so these key bits these key bit positions you can partition into two sets like k mem and k n mem now you don't need to store k n mem but still you can find the corresponding iv yeah so for example suppose i am giving difference here 136 that means 13th word so this word and sixth bit now this set is the like this so cardinality is 18 that means 64 minus 18 46 ibs are not free we have to track that iv properly so and for this this positions it can be any value so you have to take that iv fixed and you have to you can take any any values of, from this position but you will get one unique key so now table, so table size is now to the 46 but now instead of 70 percent it will reduce up to 62 percent so final table size will be like this now come to probabilistic neutral bit idea and our approach to find pnbs so output in uh, cha cha is z equal to x box plus xr now in probabilistic neutral bit you have to find one key bit position k so that if you change if first you have to change that bit position on x and x dust so suppose this is x tilde and x dust tilde and calculate this this thing z minus x tilde and z dust minus x dust tilde and go reverse r minus capital r minus smaller rounds suppose you are getting y and y dust and calculate this value if this value is same as your original differential value with with some good probability then we call that is probabilistic neutral bit so situation is something like this so we are starting with x0 and x dash 0 we have to apply r cha cha rounds so we are here xr and x dash r and calculate this value then we go forward and go up to capital r rounds so we are here and here z equal to x0 box plus xr and z dash equal to x dash 0 box plus x dash star then we need to change one key bit value on both on x0 and x dash 0 and calculate this value and apply reverse cha cha round and check whether this value is same as your original value or not if this is same with high probability we call that is probabilistic neutral bit now using some conventional method crypto 2020 authors got something 74 pnbs so they got 74 pnbs now instead of that in the conventional method there is some threshold if bias is more than that threshold consider that is your one pnb like that now instead of that conventional idea we change little bit and we propose some new three step strategy and using this strategy we got better pnbs so now instead of seven so 
in our first so this is in the first stage we got 68 second stage 8 and finally we got 3 so these all reds are we got from first stage these blues are from stage 2 and these greens are from stage 3 so so we finally we got 79 Yeah, now come to Kirgovari attack. So normally in, in using this PND idea, we don't need to try to find key at once. We, we have now key into two sets. One is PNB and another is non-PNB. And we first try to find non-PNBs. So we first try to guess this, suppose number of PNB is N and suppose key is 256. So number of non-PNB is 256 minus N. And we first try to guess this non PNB part and we use distinguisher, that differential distinguisher to uh, find this non PNBs. And after that, we will find the remaining key bits. So, normally it is multiplication, but here is some sense addition. Now, there can be two types of error that our guess is correct, non PNB guess is correct, but still bias is very small. So, we call that is probability of non-detection and another is non-BNBs are not correct, but still bias can be high so, and we call that is probability of false alarm. So, we have these two probabilities. Now, using statistics, it is not difficult to prove that if you use these many samples, then you can bound both these errors and in that time com final time complexity will be like this. Now come to our result. Now we give distinguisher here, 13th word, 6th bit, and we consider this output difference and forward bias is this. So this is exactly like crypto paper. Now we take this PNB set. So this 79 PNB set, and we got this is backward bias, and finally time complexity becomes like 2 to the power 221.95. But of course, we need more data and more memory than that crypto paper. So, this is our result for Chacha 128. See, up to 6 rounds, existing data was something like this, 2 to the power 105. Now, we got 2 to the power 84 and 2 to the power 81 if you use slightly large memory and for chacha 6.5 this is first time we can crypto analyze and at a complexity is 2 to the power 123 and for chacha 256 7 round existing was 2 to the power 230.86 now is 2 to the power 221.95 but now we are using memory existing was memory less or almost negligible memory. Yeah, now come to conclusion. So, using memory, we can improve time complexity. And also we present new technique to get PNBs. And using these two ideas, idea one and idea two, we got this times better time complexity for seven round cha-cha. And also we got for six round cha cha, we got huge improvement to the power 23. And now for cha cha 128, we can analyze up to six and a half round. Yeah. That's all. Thank you. Are there any questions? Yeah. yeah. Please, if you can, when you ask questions, please come to the microphone, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. This is Asma Shaheen from Pakistan. Uh, thank you for the great talk. I just want to uh, ask you that uh, you have introduced a new strategy 
the new technique with which you have reduced the complexity of differential attack have you tried it on any other algorithm or uh, is it feasible to reduce the complexity for any other algorithm yeah i think uh, we can drive for other arx algorithm where pnbs are used like salsa but i don't know because salsa is very important i first tried there okay okay thank you sir okay as we're started late because of me and then because of technical issues one quick question if somebody has and then just uh, was curious to know if you think that there is uh, any countermeasure that could be uh, added to chacha to uh, make this kind of attack more difficult yeah so uh, instead of initial so chacha output is z equal to x plus xr so my feeling is instead of just x plus xr we can go one round x1 and if output is z equal to x1 plus xr i don't think at least this kind of attack is possible this pnb attack because here we are out of 512 bit attacker are, are getting 256 all free so uh, that's our constant and last row is public variable so this instead of that if we go up to one one round and but i don't know whether it is practical or not Thank you. Let's thank the speaker. <laughs>